Welcome to Windows 8 tutorial lesson number 5. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to unpin and pin applications to your application start menu in the Metro interface. And simply what I mean by that is this, is you're going to basically be able to show and hide applications. And if you need the application, you can show it. If you don't need it, you can just hide it temporarily until you actually need it at a later date. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because you know, I don't want you to, to get that confused with actually uninstalling the application. We're just simply showing and hiding the applications in your Metro 8 interface. Or in other words, we're unpinning and pinning those applications in your start Metro interface. So how do you hide an application? Well, the first thing you would do is pick your application. In this case, I'm going to use Calendar, and you right-click on it. And when you right-click on it, two things happen. One, you'll see a checkmark box in the right hand corner of the application. Number two, at the bottom of your screen you'll see that a menu bar that came in and if you look at that menu you'll see an option that says unpin from start. It's the first option from the left and if you left click that you're going to notice that this application is going to be hidden away from the Metro 8 interface. So let me go ahead and left click on that and the next thing you want to probably do is you know figure out how to actually hide more than one application at a time. You probably don't want to do that one by one. Well you would simply just right click on every application that you want to hide. In this case I'll hide messaging and mail. And once you select those two applications or whatever applications you want to hide, you'll go ahead and go to the bottom of your screen to the menu bar like before. And if you left click that, you'll see those two applications disappear. But what if you want to bring those applications back? Well you go to the charm menu bar by going to the upper right hand corner of your screen and sliding down and left click on search and then make sure that the apps option is selected and you'll know that by the blue rectangle behind it and then click in your search search bar here and you're going to type in mail and if you type in mail to the far left hand corner of your screen you'll see the mail application if you right click on that and then look at the bottom of your screen there's a menu bar and you'll see an option that says pin to start and you'll go ahead and left click that and it'll repin that application back to our start menu. And if you go back to your charm menu bar and click on search, and this time let's type in calendar, and you'll see that to the far left the calendar application appears. And if you right click on that, it'll get the check mark box on it. And at the bottom of our screen, we'll see the menu bar again, and you'll see an option to pin to start. And if we left click that, it'll repin that application back to our start menu. So let's go ahead and hit the Windows key. And when you hit the Windows key, first thing you'll notice that those applications are not back in the original spot that they were before. And in order to get those applications, what you would have to do is go to the bottom of your screen, to your scroll bar, and scroll all the way to the right. And you'll see that those applications that we put back on the Metro interface are right there, calendar and mail. So what we have to do from here is double left click and drag. And if you have a regular mouse, all you have to do is just left click once and, and hold and drag. And it should be able to drag those applications right back over. So I'll say that one more time. If you have a regular mouse, all you should have to do is just left click and hold once and drag it all the way over. So that's how you unpin and pin items back to your uh, start Metro interface. Or you could say show or hide those applications. Whatever the case, if this tutorial was helpful, uh, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and bid. And if you have any, any questions, definitely make sure to, to shoot them my way. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.